All right, jumping right in with this one. <laughs> this fight took me like four attempts, and I hope that cut there wasn't too obvious because uh, the attempt where it actually worked, I forgot to record until I was already like a couple seconds into the fight. So anyway, <laughs> Cyber Moo is here is very strong, and also my team was totally not equipped to handle it. Like. Numis is literally the only character I had who could uh, actually do much of anything. So, uh, plan better than me. I mostly just spent this entire fight trying to, uh, buff up the loyalty of my party members while Numissa did Zeo damage. Now, uh, you can see how the first attempt went in my video, Tell Me Why. Anyway, for the first few turns, Mewis is just going to download attacking programs. Uh, one time, the first time, he started, like, re-downloading them again, and I don't know if it was a glitch or not, because I've never seen him do it at all anywhere else. So, if that ever happens to you, lucky you. I squandered the opportunity and let everyone die, so... <laughs> Yikes. First fold is totally useless. Anyway, this is a way better opportunity for you to spam your Roma skill if you have it. Because chances are, if you're going to miss this as slow as mine, it's going to be uh, a wonderful opportunity. While uh, Jawam is totally friggin' useless. Anyway, if you have a magic mirror, which I got from that uh, falling area maze, uh, use it. And use it up front, because he also has almighty skills, and they can bypass that, so... Uh, Wasted. As we can see by Megiddo there, almost one-shotting her. If I used Roma Fullman there, I could have shaved a shitload of time off of this. But, uh, I didn't, so... We don't get that opportunity. Of course, it actually uses the bead, and that's annoying as hell. Anyway, we have, uh, Oshirasama has a recarm, so let's just use it. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Mewis here might be immune to gun. Yeah, immune to gun. Which, uh, which sucks. Not gonna lie. Because there's really just not much RMC can do here, because, at least with the sword I had, uh, not really doing a ton of damage, especially if I put him in the back here to make him safer. Roma Fulman hit pretty hard there, but, uh... <laughs> Megadola's a bitch of a skill. Fortunately, I don't think anything in this game has Megiddo Leon yet, but, uh... Megadola is more than enough to hurt way more than it ever does in the main series. Thank God I got Lamb Derg here! Anyway, we have all these bombs of life, so we might as well use them. It's just going to be a brutal, like, slobber knocker all the way to the end, so just go as nuts as you can. And if you can predict a big hit, I say go for it, but at least Roma Fulman did decent damage there. And just go for it, like, at this up at point. Oh god, seeing that damage is great. You're not going to have a lot of chances to fix your mistakes, so... Just don't bother with it. Just go all in and make it work. If you fail, you fail. Be sure to save. Even with this mortal, I still cannot destroy you. I need more. I need more power. Mewis's 
doing too? If so, then let's make him tell us what he was doing. Come on. Entering cyberspace used up all the strength he had left. Uh, no! I finally had a lead! Um, I don't think Muis knew who locked you away, Nemissa. But he seemed to know something else. I know that, but he knows something about me. I could have found out who I am. Did you really lose your memory? It can't be. I'm me. I've always just been me, right? Anyway, let's just get out of here. I don't like it here. We're heading back to the plant. Something doesn't feel right, and this is really ticking me off. There's nothing we can do about it now, Nemissa. I'm sure you'll get another chance to learn about yourself. Anyway, let's get back to everyone else. They're probably wondering how we are. Pardon me, Mr. Summoner. You're... You managed to defeat the demon living here. Strong work. You just sat back and watched while we did all the work? I didn't come here to kill demons, so why would I help? I'm here to investigate Phantom. Wherever there are demons, Phantom is always close. At least, that's what I figured. Unfortunately, I came up empty-handed. It seems you didn't quite find what you were looking for, either. That is true, but... Um, you sure keep your cards close to your chest. I'm guessing your situation's complicated. Especially you. I can sense two souls from within you. But one of them... What exactly happened? Eh, never mind. Getting your life story at this point isn't gonna help much. But if you're gonna continue fighting against Phantom, I'd advise that you at least meet with someone. Madam Ginko. She's the overseer of all of us in the Kuzunoha clan. Lo, it's not like we're all friends here yet. Why should we meet her? I'm not forcing you to. But she knows Phantom very well. I'm sure she'd be of help to you. You can find Madame Ginko at the Go Maden. I'll let her know to expect you. Hey, quit deciding for us. Mm -hmm. It seems that someone else has arrived. Time for me to be on my way. Just remember, Tough battles are won by knowing your opponent first. That's one to grow on. Ciao! Ray, what a mysterious and impressive person. She even knew about Nemissa. Honestly, she's right. I have a feeling that knowing about them will be a significant part of the upcoming battle. Oh, good. You two are safe. So, what happened with that demon you were talking about? We killed him. I'm not really happy about it. Killed, huh? Then we don't really have any clues about Phantom, huh? No. We didn't really get anything. I see. 
Well, at least you guys won't be getting ambushed anymore. Everyone's safe, so that's a success in my book. Let's return to the HQ. I'm a bit worried about Yuichi. Ah, just let him be. I'm sure he'll be smiling again soon enough. You of all people are telling everyone to just leave him alone. He's actually pretty sensitive, you know. Hey, we wanted to stop by somewhere before we head back. Hmm? Uh, okay. You can catch up with us later, then. Namisa, you want to go to the Goma Den? You already suggested it, so I might as well just get it over with. Plus, it's our only clue right now. <laughs> Thanks for going along, Namisa. All right, let's head to the Goma Den. She's their overseer. I wonder what kind of person she is. You shouldn't let your guard down. It may be a trap. Precaution is necessary. But if you see everyone as a foe, you will lose sight of the true enemy. Huh? Who are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Ginko. I heard about you from Rei. So, you're the young summoner. And this must be Hitomi. It would appear that both of you have stepped onto a harsh path. Wow. She's so beautiful. I expected someone scarier. Quit gawping at her, jeez. Are you just gonna stand there staring all day? Get a hold of yourself. Hey lady, if you've heard about us, then you know we're here to find out about the Phantom Society. Oh, I know. But Phantom is a much bigger and more fearsome organization than you think. Pursuing them will result in even more perilous battles, especially for you. Do you have the courage to carry out your will? What do you think? If you answer, I don't know yet, in a New Game Plus event, something good will happen. So always just answer, I don't know yet. to know his own life's path without looking back into the past. This battle is a quest for your own self. My question meant nothing. The Phantom Society is an organization that has controlled the world from the shadows since long, long ago. Its power stretches across the world, and now this society can even control an entire nation. And what do goons like that want to do with this city? I do not know the full extent of what Phantom's plans are for Amami. What I do know is that the principles behind their actions transcend the common ideals of morality and justice. So they're not doing it for good or for evil? Good and evil are only ideals created by human weakness to support what drives our hearts. But Phantom is motivated by control. Their fight is for a completely different cause than yours. Control? Ray did not want to see you killed. That is why she introduced you to me. Your reason for fighting Phantom is not for me to know. However, as one who shares your objective, I shall cooperate with you as much as I can. As proof, I give you this. A sword? It doesn't look like much. The Nameless Sword, much like the young summoner himself. Just as he obtained the comp and became a summoner, this sword will grow too. Take this to the kitchen within the Gomadon. It will be of great use to you. Perhaps Ray saw something of that young man in you. What young man? Three years ago, there was a young man who had no choice but to become a summoner. He was killed by a dark summoner, but his soul possessed the body of another summoner. Before he gained his summoner powers, he had lived a normal life. Ray knew that young man very well. How strange. That sounds a lot like his situation. The two of you are too young to die. Do not act rashly. Thank you very much, Madam Ginko. About that young man... Whatever happened to him? He is still working hard, believing in himself. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, mademoiselle. Welcome to Shea Muramasa. I am Muramasa, chef of the SS Sinfu. It is a pleasure to meet you. This man's going to make us a sword? 
Oui, mademoiselle. I excel in the culinary arts, but I also excel at the art of putting souls into swords. My family line has crafted swords for generations, but I have developed a new technique. The technique of imbuing the power of a demon into a sword. I think I am the only one in the world. A three-star idea, wouldn't you say? But it would be faster to show you than to explain it. Please try it out. So here's an opportunity similar to Raido, where you can fuse your demons into this nameless sword. Uh, some of them are female only, so watch out that you don't make something really cool so only your magical base Nemissa can use it. Learn from me. What will you do? What? Good evening, Master and Mistress Hitomi. I see you are in good humor. Um, is this how I am supposed to speak? Is it strange? What will you do? What will you do? Then... Hmm? What's that sound? Hello? Hey, it's me, Spooky. I've got a bit of a situation on my head. I can't really discuss it right now. I need you to come back to HQ ASAP. Idiot is gonna get himself killed. Oh, hey, this isn't turning out good. First, take a look at this. Do you know this Finnegan? How can I forget? He's the summoner who sicked his demons on us and left. So this was about you guys. To tell you the truth, there are signs that this posting has been accessed before we found it. Damn it. That idiot. Don't tell me. Yuichi. He went to the Amami float by himself? That's so reckless. Finnegan's a killer. At this rate... Yeah. We need to save him. Six, this is because you yelled at him at the plant. I just told him the truth. Enough. There's no time for this. Let's just go. We should be able to take the shuttle beneath the airport to get to the Amami float. All right, let's head to Amami airport and take that shuttle. Anyway, let's head on over to uh, EL. Welcome to L115. How are 115. you doing? 115. <laughs> All right. Hope you haven't screwed up too bad. Yeah, no, we're fine. Anyway, let's go to some new apps. All the new stuff is more expensive, obviously, so get a lot of them. Caps lock is basically a stoma, but it that you don't have to keep reapplying. But uh, anything that takes two slots is a little scary when backup is already taking that. Uh, Dark Man is fantastic. Make that a mandatory thing. You can take off that one that says how many enemies are around. Because... Just put a stoma up. Mr. Surprise sounds wonderful. Though in all my grinding time, I haven't noticed it doing much good, so I think I'm going to take it off. Caps Lock is wonderful to have. Keep it around. Especially because you might not even necessarily need a uh, backup or if you have it on. But it's always safer to have around. Unless you're like me who never friggin' uses it, so who's to say? Though I suppose, really, if you get right to a front door, you could take it off, put ba uh, take backup or off, put uh, the savey spot one on. I think I'm fucking up. Take caps lock off, put backup or on. Save. You know how it goes. We need to hurry to the Amami float to save Yuichi. Anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you all for watching. Sorry I didn't commentate as much, but you know how it do. See you all next time.